Welcome to the SCAR 2020 online presentation upload portal. This short video will show you exactly where you need to go within this portal to upload your presentation materials. From the link received in your email, you will first arrive here on the home page. The first thing that you will need to do is enter the update presenter profile. From here, make sure that the presenter details do match your account and then edit the contact details to open up the full site. From here, we ask you just to simply check your information and also upload a presenter profile picture if you haven't already done so. Once this information is correct, simply select submit and it will take you directly back to the upload portal. From here, move on to the next tab to upload speaker presentation materials. From here, we have a variety of instructions available for you, but we do recommend that you also check out our upload page uh, on the SCAR 2020 online website as well before you start uh, uploading your presentation materials. So I'm going to upload my presentation materials for my sample presentation three. From here, we can see that there are edit links next to each particular presentation document. I'm going to start with my primary presentation document and my additional presentation materials, which I've already pre-prepared. My primary presentation document consists of some presentation slides. I simply edit, hit the edit button here, browse my computer and select the correct file. Please note that I have used the file naming protocol outlined in the guidelines. Once I've selected my file, press update to upload your file. All files have a limit of 15 megabytes per file. Now that that file has uploaded, you can see here that there is a tick now associated next to that file type. The primary presentation document is a PDF file only. So we recommend this either be PowerPoint presentation slides in PDF format or a scientific poster. The additional presentation materials, you have two additional options here. These can be supporting documentations or graphs or even Excel spreadsheets. It can be any file type that you'd like. If you have more than two materials that you would like to upload, then we recommend merging some documents together to create one file. Once again, you are limited to 15 megabytes per file. So I'm going to upload my presentation materials. I have two documents. The first one is a Word document with some graphs and formulas. And the second is an Excel spreadsheet. Now, before I've completed all thing, I do still need to go into the view abstract and video upload. Even if you're not planning to upload a video, there are still some permissions that you need to select. This will look familiar. When you submitted your abstract earlier, you would have gone through a portal similar to this. And from here, you can actually view your original abstract submission details. Please note that as your abstract has been accepted, you cannot edit any of this information. It is purely here for you to view only. We ask that all presenters please add a biography. However, if you do not wish to provide a biography, simply add NA into this box as it will allow you to move through to the portal. On the next page, we can go here, we can view the original abstract, and below that, there's information here on how to upload a video presentation link. 
If you are interested in recording a video, please view the information on the website and also view the short video that's available. As I've pre-prepared an upload link, I'm just going to add that in here now. And press continue. On the next page, we ask you to give your video publishing permission. Here you have three options. The first one is that you give permission for SCAR Online event to show your video through the SCAR Online platform and also the SCAR Online YouTube channel. The YouTube channel will be publicly available. If you prefer only to have your video available for those that are participating in the SCAR Online event, then simply select the next option here, which is the SCAR Online platform only. If you're not submitting a video, then simply select the I'm not submitting option here. Next page we'll be asked to simply review your submission. If there's anything outstanding, a red box will appear here. Continue to the next page. Agree to the terms and conditions of your submission and submit. You will receive a confirmation email and you can come back to this portal anytime and re-enter and edit any of these materials.